<laughs> what up, vlog? <laughs> it's your boy. I'm, I'm, I'm here guys. with I'm here with as Ben Cron. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je suis uh, en français. Je parle français. He has uh, the best. Voulez-vous voulez coucher avec moi ce soir? <laughs> My name is Hayden Belfield. What do you do? I work at Cambridge University uh, at the Leverhulme Centre for the Future of Intelligence and the Centre for the Study of Existential Risk. I'm, I'm Stephen Casper. Lots of people call me Casper. Lots of people call me Cas. As Ben Cron as a as a super uh, gold yeah. color. Bling! I What's got complimented by a homeless guy yesterday for this hill of bling. How can the lighting be so bad? Oh, maybe this. Way. Wait, how can it change so Wait. much <laughs> on light? <laughs> that's, that's not how light works. <laughs> <laughs> how light works. We're excited for the first day of the new information processing systems conference. Jeff Hinton is going to get awarded the. Um, the 10 year award, uh, the test of time award for AlexNet, uh, which was like this big breakthrough paper he did. And I think it's interesting to reflect on the last 10 years has been like a, the glorious AI summer. My title changed just a little bit from uh, are large language models sentient to could a large language model be conscious? What exactly do you do for saving humanity from? <laughs> Uh, out of control AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 all entirely me. What are your goals for the week? So that uh, you, you'll watch this vlog and you'll be like, oh um, yeah, I messed up. I can't say my blood, ma. I can't say my goals on camera. <laughs> it will be counterproductive to my goals. Sometimes I worry that like the work that I'm doing, because it's like uh, working on like safety and interpretability tools, might actually not be that useful. Because if the, like I, I highly doubt that the first people who try to build AGI are going to be very aligned and going to care a lot about interpretability anyway, right? Yeah, so I yeah, really uh, think that AI should be governed better. How do we? How do you govern AI better? Uh, if you don't AI, if you if you don't build AI, yeah, <laughs> just don't build AI. Yeah, that's that's pretty good governance. But I think yeah, we had some really uh, big breakthroughs, like getting lethal autonomous weapons onto the like negotiating like this. 100 states at the UN currently negotiating whether there should be a ban on lethal autonomous weapons. That's awesome. Like that's that's a really incredible achievement. That we need to talk with the real people, like the, the the human beings yeah, the governing human beings, and not just work with AI to create AI safety. So, so we, we just had a talk from David Chalmers yeah. about whether large language models are conscious. Yeah. Do you think governments will listen to <laughs> take all considerations of like? mistreating language models and like asking them to do stuff that are... Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, one of the, I think the problems we've had actually talking to uh, policymakers is they're like too, they're like too interested in the, the consciousness <laughs> thing. And we're just like, get away from that. Like, It may be that today's large neural networks are slightly conscious. Uh, that was back in February. Fish AI by 2022. <laughs> 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 Any views? <laughs> Any views, Mr. Lewis Maybe it depends on the fish. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't go into the specifics of what fish he was There's lots of different kinds. Lots of AI. different kinds. Lots yeah, of different kinds. I mean, kinds. it did make me think. It did make me think. I don't know how variable fish intelligence is.